What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday evening. This is the certified Chris G coming at you with another motivational message to help keep inspiring you on your chase to greatness. So one of the most common questions that I get whenever I do a presentation or a speech is they say, hey, Chris, like, I've got this great idea. I've got this big dream, but I can never really push through to get to the next level of my dream. So I end up giving up. Like, does that happen to you where you're like, I have this goal, I have this aspiration and you start, but you immediately hit some setbacks and you just give up on it. So if that happens to you, I wanted to address you specifically tonight. Now, I got to be honest, I've been doing speaking for, you know, three years now. And I always tell people I don't have all the answers. I only have what works for me. And hopefully you can kind of build that to see what works for you. So for me personally, for years, I tried to diet to lose weight and it never worked for me. Like I would think, okay, I'm going to try now because I, I just got fed up and got to a point on a scale where I was embarrassed by the number. And so I would try for a week or two and I would just give up when I saw that first weight gain, you know? So I try for a week, I maybe lose, I'd be successful. But then the first time I saw weight gain, I felt like such a failure. So I just gave up. I was like, I just can't do it. And this led to like years of me trying to diet and lose weight only to be met with like that stop start thing, you know? So it's like, I stopped, I started, I gave myself a chance, stopped, started, gave myself a chance and just repeated. So for any of you guys out there who you find that as your habit is where you're consistently like, I have this dream, I want it really badly, I start it, but I just can't get over the setback. Here's the piece of advice that I have that worked for you. And you're probably gonna laugh at this, but this is how it works in my head. So hopefully you guys have all heard the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? And you know, Goldilocks goes in, she breaks in the house. I, they don't really say to the kids that she's like broke in, she's trying to rob them, but you know, it is what it is. So, you know, she sits down and she's like, ah, this one's too small. And then she goes to the next, you know, I think it's beds in there and she goes, this one's too big. And then she goes to the third one, she finds out this is just right. And so my best advice to you guys out there, for you guys that can't seem to get over the hurdle, I need you to channel your inner Goldilocks because that's essentially, I think a lot of people don't give themselves the grace to let themselves fail and see what's not right for them. So on that last time that I started my weight loss journey, sorry, I got, got like, a, like, I don't know if it's a hair or a light that's coming to my glasses, but the last time that I started my journey where I decided like enough is enough, I don't want to be 360 pounds anymore. I decided that I was gonna give myself the grace to fail. So understand, like, give yourself a chance and it's okay to fail, but you cannot give yourself the grace to quit. And when I made that correlation, I said, all right, how am I gonna handle that failure? And like in my mind, cause I'm a teacher, in my mind, I wanted to channel my inner Goldilocks. So for example, trying new foods, right? Cause I, I hated diet foods, it was disgusting. I would try something and I would be like, Nah, you know, like how Goldilocks said, it's, it's just too small for me. So like for me, it'd be like, I, I just don't quite like it. And that, but I would still try something else healthy. I'd be like, nah, this is just too much for me. And I'd be like, nah, I just don't quite like it. But then after trying new things, I would find what's right for me. And then I did the same thing with fitness. Uh, for me, I started on the bicycle, you know, the stationary bike, and I didn't like it. I hated it. And then I went to the elliptical and I was like, okay, this is kind of okay, but it's still not me. And then I went to running and I found like, dude, that's my thing. I love to run, you know? And so whatever your goal is, I'm going to challenge you right now to, to start like you have been, but find what works for you. But the trick is that you got to stay with it long enough to find out what actually works for you. If you quit the first time you find something that you don't like, you're not gonna give yourself enough time to find out what's working for you and what will work for your dream. So tonight, I, it's a little short video tonight. I just wanted to come on here and really talk to the people who find themselves quitting too early. So I want you to channel your inner Goldilocks and I want you to say, ah, this isn't quite right. This is too much. 
but this is just right. And promise me, promise me, promise me that you give yourself the grace to figure it out. So as you go through life and you try new things, you find out what works for you. And here's the, here's the secret. Just because it works for someone else, it doesn't guarantee that it's gonna work for you. So take input from other people, but don't feel obligated to do it the way they did it because they're not you. They don't have your insight and they don't have your perspective. So thank you guys for coming on and watching the video tonight. I hope you guys found a little bit of inspiration in there. If you did, can you just do me a small favor, spread the message of the certified and send this to somebody who you know quits a little too easily or you believe in and they need that extra little push. I'm glad to do it. That's my job. That's what I do is lift up, elevate, and help other people. So thank you guys so much. Like I said, this is The Certified, Chris G from Certified G Motivation coming at you saying, don't give up on your dreams, keep chasing your greatness, and much love to all you guys out there. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.